morning, Brophy. Thank you for being together for morning prayer. We can all recognize the impacts and effects, sometimes overwhelming, that the current crisis is having on our lives. For some of us, we still have eyes to see the changes in the world that was brought about by 9-11, although that has faded some. For many more of us, those born after the event in 2001, this is just the world I have always known. You may lack the eyes to see the world as it once was. World-changing events have always been under the sun and fade into the background, many times forgotten with the passage of time. As I consider these things, I am reminded that it is still Easter. I am reminded that all of us only know this world that was forever transformed by the events of Easter as the world I have always known. Perhaps the Easter transformation of the world has faded. We continue to remember that Jesus' death and resurrection is a world-changing event. We continue to acknowledge that we are in need of God's grace to have eyes to see the world, to see ourselves redeemed and restored because of Easter. We need to remember Easter as a reminder of the fullness of God's love for us. Let us pause and recall that we are always in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Holy Spirit, be present with us. Be present with us in the midst of our trials, in the midst of our challenges and our struggles, and help us to see the world through redeemed and restored eyes. Help us to see uh, the glory of creation and the glory of who you are making us to be. Help us to see what it is to be a glorious son and daughter of you. Thank you, God, that you love us. Amen. Today we pray for everyone infected with the coronavirus and for all who have died in this pandemic, for healing for those who are ill and comfort in these difficult times. We pray for our families that in this moment of trial, relationships would be restored and that our families would grow in grace and love for and toward each other. And for any intentions in your heart. St. Peter Faber, St. Francis Xavier, and St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day, Brophy.